Hey guys, Taki talking from a void here, and I want to do a little bit of speculation on some new skill gems that I hope slash expect to see coming out in 317 based on the development manifesto, and then afterwards talk about the kind of things I would look out for when it comes to picking your league starter. Now I'm not going to tell you play this build because I don't like it when uh, YouTubers do that before we get the patch notes, but I will tell you the things to look out for when we have the patch notes so you select the right builds. So one thing that really stood out to me, which I thought was a little bit odd um, from the development manifesto yesterday, I'll start with spells and I'll talk about the bow stuff afterwards, is they address that a lack of mobility and defense was an issue holding spell casters back. And then, yes, we're getting more cast speed on gear, which increases our mobility if we can cast faster, true. But that doesn't really solve that problem. And yes, if you get way more damage, then you, in theory, have more points to put into defensive stuff. But it doesn't really solve that problem. Um, and then also, just speaking from some, from some of my own experience, if you're trying to play a purely, like, topside build, unless you're Inquisitor and you've got the really cool hybrid stuff, the defenses are a bit shaky up there. Um, it kind of is lacking something. The recoup nodes were very interesting. I messed around with them um, for my league starts actually last league. And ultimately I was like, I mean, they're cool, but I'm better off just instead investing into like spell suppression. Um, and you've got Ghost Dance, which is doing good stuff. And you've got a lot of armor stuff doing good stuff. But there's, there's not, there's something missing in this top bit. So unless they're adding something specifically to that part of the tree or really looking at like spellcaster masteries, which they might be. Um, but they maybe they'd have mentioned that because they did specifically mention bow masteries they were changing. It feels like there's some sort of link, some sort of spice missing, which will hopefully come in the form of some new skill gems. Um, in the inverse to that, um, if we look at the bow stuff, uh, they're doing a big focus on bow um, bows themselves and quivers, which should help hopefully, but they've also changed some interactions. But they didn't really say anything at all about bow skills. So that was a bit odd. I would maybe expect to see one or two new bow skills um, because if you're trying to push that archetype, it would make sense. But I don't expect to see that many new spell skills because they've individually buffed every single spell. And in my mind, it seems a little bit weird to be like, hey, you know all those old spells? Yeah, we've buffed them all by like 60%. Oh, and here's a new really cool sexy spell to play because then it takes the attention off that. Does that kind of make sense? So if I had to like guess at what the new skill gems will be, I would expect spell caster based utility and then maybe some new bow attack skills. Right, now let's get into the actual like build discussion sort of thing. So a big focus of 317 is this new end game. We're getting new bosses, that's confirmed pretty much. We know that Cirrus is going off, that's going into the map tabs, kind of the way of Elder and Shaper. New big, bad, scary Atlas stuff. What does that mean? It means you want a build which can take a couple of hits, has some good sustain, and a build that will let you learn the new boss content. Because, and this is another issue, if everyone's just like league starting 5k, 4k health, spellcaster guy with no real defense and then you meet this new boss and you have no idea what the boss does well the boss is just gonna breathe on you and you'll fall over um you can kind of afford to do these really glass cannon style builds when you know the boss's mechanics so mm, if they're not introducing more stuff in that way i would definitely recommend doing lots of inquisitor stuff because inquisitor has good ehp values by the hybrid stuff and has great sustain because of all the hybrid stuff um, since Archmage kind of took a fallback, then that's kind of where a lot of that, like, super sustained spellcaster stuff kind of fell away. Outside of a few niche setups. I could even see, uh, some people maybe playing Trickster. Hear me out. One Trickster idea that I thought was really cool that I didn't really see, I think I saw, like, one person doing on PB Ninja, is Low Life, Petrified Blood, using the node that means you don't take dot damage half of the time, which is kind of an annoying node unless you're doing like Righteous Fire stuff, but it's pretty good if you're doing Petrified Blood things, because it means that you just ignore Petrified Blood damage half the time. And we know that GGG really likes putting random degens into boss fights, so just not taking degen damage half the time, and not taking Petrified Blood damage half the time, yeah, that's pretty good. You get to do low life, so you get to like boost up your damage. 
yeah, it's maybe okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, generally I would see a lot of stuff like Slayer being excellent. Um, Slayer Overleech is really good. And I know that's not a spell. You could do some Slayer Bow stuff potentially. Um, mm, if you were to ask me right now, like, what is kind of tickling your fancy... I'm kind of curious to do some stuff with the weird trap changes, maybe doing something with, uh, I think I soak up this in my dev manifesto video, doing something with lightning traps specifically, um, since I plan to do a lightning trap tornado build last league, and I leveled it, and I don't think I, I think I just like stopped leveling because I just stopped playing pathbacks or something like Battle Brothers instead, but in a world where you don't use cluster trap, and in a world where you don't use multi-trap, throwing just individual lightning traps that hit really hard has quite good synergy with Tornado, sort of. Because then the Tornado is reflecting the biggest chunk of the lightning trap, but then there's the inverse of the Tornado would meet, reach max damage sooner. With it's, it's the whole thing. Uh, more realistically, though, um, I was messing around with some Poison Scourge Irish stuff last league, and that should just be better, because we're getting new quivers and bows that will just be better for that setup, and unless they nerf Poisonous Concoction, you can just level as Poisonous Concoction until you get your cool new stuff, and then do Poison stuff, but this is now starting to verge into me recommending builds, which is not what I want to do, um, so yes, speculation... I'm expecting, hoping, that we're getting some spellcast utility, possibly some new bow active skill gems, and my main focus, build-wise, um, is recommending people look at stuff with good sustain, good EHP, um, assuming they're not changed, that would be Inquisitor, that would be Slayer, that would be Pathfinder, big one that I'm expecting to get nerfed, and if it doesn't get nerfed, I'm definitely messing with it, is the heal when you use flasks, gain flask charges when hit. That combination is dumb. It's silly. Poison will probably be pretty good. Conversely, poison spells is probably mm -hmm. pretty good. That was my phone buzzing at me. I'm Taki. Have a great day. What are you expecting, if anything, new skill-wise, by the way? Bye-bye.